I know Chiggs is in here recording this. So. Yeah. No Chig smooth in here, right? So whatever you oh, say, so you know Chig gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chig's gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Who would end up being the brand new owner of one third of Rockefeller Inc., which owns Reasonable Doubt for at least seven more years? Dame Dash just said Drake just made a serious offer. Could that help him in the rap war of 2024? What's up, y'all? Is your man talking his world reporting for the Chig Smooth channel? We gotta talk about this. While being interviewed on his network and his YouTube channel, Dame Dash will talk about how a rap battle has never gone this far that it led to the winner headlining the Super Bowl. But many could argue that Kendrick Lamar would have done the Super Bowl even if the rap war of 2024 was delayed. He probably wouldn't have performed this year, but now it just seems like the best time. Here's what Dame Dash had to say. As to battle rap, <laughs> There's never been a, a, a battle rap where, you know, the record becomes a hit, puts another artist in a very uncomfortable position, pause, and then they get to perform it at the Super Bowl. That's it. And, you know, I'm thinking, like, what would I do if I was Drake? And I'd be like, well, a big W would be to come to the Super Bowl with one of these Rockefeller chains. And... You know, Drake hollered at me through DM and made an offer. And uh, I'm not quite sure what happened, but um, I thought that he had got with Jay or something, but I don't know. But it would be a good time to close. But if you got it, you know, I wouldn't do it if you don't got it. But, uh, you know, if you want to own reasonable doubt, if you want to own a third of it, have a, a say at the board meeting for at least the next seven years and make money off of it, um, I would get these chains. Or one, you get one. And I'm gonna make it even better. I, I spoke to Alligator Jesus and I was like, yo, if somebody does buy it for this price, um, now I gotta give some Rockefeller grills. So I, I guess I'll put up some Rockefeller grills as well if he put up the bread when talking about what's actually for sale on his instagram he wrote they can say what they want this is still for sale you're not buying a copyright you're buying a piece of a company rockefeller inc do you think drake takes dame dash's advice of buying his third of rockefeller inc and then showing up to the super bowl with the chain on would that matter would that be better or worse he should probably stay away from the super bowl no matter what gets performed, at least for this year. Dame Dash will go on to say that purchasing Rockefeller Inc. is not just about the profit because he says it only makes him about $100,000 a year. If that's true, then $10 million would never get recouped. So it's not about the profit, it's about the art. And rich people buy dumb art all the time. This is not just buying the music, this is still buying the company. Even when the seven years are up and the copyrights of the album go back to Jay-Z, Drake will still own a third of Rockefeller Inc. if he buys it. It's not about a profit thing, it's about art. You know, studies doesn't make but 100,000 a year for me. But the symbolism, I guess, and what you can do and how to monetize it for those seven years, you know, you can make a lot of money. But for those seven years, and after that, you still own Rockefeller Inc. It's just reasonable doubt's not there. But for those seven years, you could run it up, have a lot of fun. If, if you really want to buy it, and if you don't have 10 million, or don't call me. You know, unless there's something creative you want to do, but other than that, you stop. You know what I mean? You just waste people's time. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Peace.